Saidi, the Persian poet, said, What would you say if you were invited to a banquet by the Lord of the Worlds and you went to that banquet and you went into this huge banquet hall and you saw all these other guests that were invited to the same banquet by the Lord of the Worlds? He said, how would you treat those guests? And then he said in his poem, Sa'di knows that every soul on this earth was invited here by the Lord of the worlds to share in the banquet of life. This is the way we should look at the earth. We should look at the earth as everyone on it is a guest of God. And there are some guests that misbehave. There are some guests that do terrible things. There are some guests that soil the house. There are some guests that wreak havoc in the house. But they're all guests of the same generous Lord. And all of them have the potential and the ability to rectify their state, to make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ma lam yukharkhir. As long as their throat has not felt the ruh about to leave it. So we should have patience as long as we're here. And I believe that all of the tribulations that are happening in the Muslim world right now, we should reflect deeply on these tribulations. And first and foremost, like my brother said, turn here. Because this is the only change that you as an individual can enact initially. But that change, we cannot underestimate the profound impact of that change. We can never underestimate the profound impact of the change of each individual. And so, above all, we should be intolerant to those qualities in our own selves that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dislikes. And to be tolerant of those very same qualities in those around us knowing that they're in a state of tribulation.